What if the broker decides to forbid trading with certain currency pairs and I don't notice fast enough? You might find that other entries may be better for you. You might also have some other trading strategy that you have already used to make profits. If you know what a chart, a bid, or an ask price is, then you should probably start to learn the basics about automated trading. For me, there is absolutely no reason why one shouldn't start with a small account because you can always increase your account size later. If you improve weak things, you could probably expect mediocre results for a lot of work. But if you improve the things that already are good, you could expect excellent results with a lot less effort. Would you like to talk about how you can take out the pressure and improve your results without losing your trading capital in the first six months? Some brokers will start to close your positions when your equity is below 50%. You need to take that in consideration. The problem is that our eyes often play tricks on us. If you take a closer look at a chart, you will notice that there are never candles that are drawn above or below the limits of this chart. It is easy to test an entry signal with an automated system and you wouldn't even need to invest five minutes to create a reverse entry. In my opinion, profits and losses are unavoidable when you trade. But if you would like to see a $10,000 profit, you also need to accept the fact that a $10,000 loss is possible. If you drive too fast, you will probably not be able to stay on the road. If you drive too slow, people behind you will probably consider to do risky maneuvers to pass your car. Here is a quote that Jack Bogle made in an interview with Tony Robbins. Tony, if you pack a thousand gorillas into a gym and teach them each to flip a coin, one of them will flip heads ten times in a row. Most would call that luck, but when that happens in trading we call him a genius. Once the equity goes down, a good system needs to be able to handle the situation. An algorithmic trading system has not only advantages, but also disadvantages. One of these disadvantages is that you cannot teach the system to bend the rules. Do you know what is going to happen? And if so, wouldn't it be better to keep it a secret and use the knowledge about the future to trade it? I do a lot of tests, usually for at least 10 currency pairs, and if I am convinced that I found a market advantage, I turn the whole thing around and trade the opposite. Before I used automated trading systems, I often missed market moves because I wasn't in front of my computer. I didn't like the driving exam and I didn't like the instructor. But the ability and freedom to drive my own car, sit in the driver's seat and decide to go wherever I want was strong enough to do it. The entry signal we use is not the reason for a profitable result. It is not that important. Trading requires a lot of time. Your computer can do that without getting tired or bored. Sometimes your setting works out very well, but unfortunately nobody is able to predict the future. As a discretionary trader, you would need to sit in front of your charts for a whole week without sleeping, eating, and without making mistakes or taking breaks. If you believe that prices go up and down for a reason, you will look for a confirmation to prove that. Trading is possible around the clock, but I never have heard of any human being that would be able to make good decisions without some sleep. If you have another broker, you might have different conditions. Depending on your account settings, you might have better terms, and that would be good, but you could also have less good conditions. For example, a higher spread, 